Got another question on the carbonyl compounds topic, and as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So methyl glyoxal has got two functional groups. It's got a ketone and an aldehyde functional group. So the reduction reaction, you'd react it with NABH4. The ketone functional group is reduced to a secondary alcohol and the aldehyde functional group is reduced to a primary alcohol. Each reduction requires two moles of the reducing agent, which we represent as an H in square brackets. So because there's two reductions taking place, we need four moles of reducing agent. And there's no observation for that reaction. For the oxidation reaction, there's a couple of answers you can give, so I'll just run through this one first. So react with Tollens reagent, or you could say ammoniacal silver nitrate there. The ketone group isn't oxidized, but the aldehyde group is. So it's going to be oxidized to carboxylic acid, and that's the equation there. Observation is the production of a silver mirror. Alternatively, you could oxidize it with acidified potassium dichromate 6. Same equation but this time the observation is an orange to green colour change. 